Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen if you're brand new and if you're not new, well thanks for coming back. Okay, so you've seen the title. I just got home from work like literally 10 minutes ago. I rushed up here as fast as I could so that I could finally record my reaction to the uh, new expansion pack. I think it's an expansion pack. Um, I have done my best all day while I was at work to completely avoid any and all spoilers that I could besides the spoilers, teasers, I guess that you could say that we got like a couple days ago. So I'm going to do my best to get this recorded now um, and have it edited and posted up today as well. So without further ado, we're going to get into this trailer reaction and I'm very excited. I hope you guys will be able to hear everything. Okay. All right. Are we ready? I don't know if I'm ready. Okay. 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 Here we go. Hope you can hear it. Okay. Very sound of music. Oh. <gasps> Bunnies! <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Okay, cottage living. Oh, look at the bunnies. Look at all the bunnies. Oh my God, they're so cute. Okay. <gasps> That's Agnes. Crumple Bottoms here. What? Was that a cow? Did I see a cow? We're not just gonna skip over the fact that that I just saw a cow. That's a llama. We're gonna get a llama. Oh my god, I'm spiking the audio. I'm so sorry. Chickens! Oh my god, chickens! Oh my god! Oh my god, crochet? No, no, no. Needlepoint! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, the llama? Oh my god, we're getting llamas! Cusco is shook! Oh my god, we can actually grow pumpkins? We can get eggs! Oh my god, we can get- We can milk cows! That bunny is so cute. Oh, I just swore. I'm sorry. Oh, a farmer's market. Or a, like a vegetable judging contest? That's an impressive carrot. Okay, large pumpkins. Very Snow White. <laughs> Oh my god, that chicken's a vibe. Where's he going? Oh, this is a new world. Was that a new world? Oh my god, the- oh. And your chicken! Oh my god, the cows! They're so cute! September 2nd! Gnome on the go bonus content. Wait, wait. July 22nd. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, wait. Ho hold on. What was this? What is this? By September, by by September 20, September, I can't read. <laughs> I can't read. Okay. By by September 2nd to get Gnome on the Go bonus content. Okay. Oh my God. This bike is so cute. This bike is literally everything. This tree, this gnome, I guess, dri riding this statue. Okay. Okay. So July 22nd. Okay. Okay, listen, I've wanted a farming, like, concept for, like, so long in The Sims. I know this is, like, I wouldn't say that this is, like, full-on farming, because we are getting that mod modded pack that's coming out um, at the end of June, I believe. And that's, like, more, like, farming. This I feel like this is kind of more, like, a very small-scale farm. I don't know if it's quite like a hobby farm, but it's definitely smaller farm, but that's still ridiculously exciting. Did you see the bunnies and the cows and the chickens? I didn't even mention singing to the birds. Like you can sit, you can literally be freaking Snow White if you want to be freaking Snow White. I can't get over this. Look at this dress. Look how cute this dress is. This is so cute. And this world, this has to be a new world. Like, Sorry, don't ignore my uh, recommendations. Go follow Claire if you haven't already. If you have, like, haven't, like, you're living under a rock. But, like, 
Okay, her outfit's so cute. Like, like literally modern day Snow White. I mean, we have freaking Peter Rabbit in person. Like, hello? Peter Rabbit. Hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, wait. I mean, come on! Look at that! How can you not- Listen, my grandmother hated rabbits. Like, they were like the worst thing in the world to her because she had a garden and they would always eat her vegetables. But I stand Peter Rabbit, so I'm here for it. Totally here for that. Like, that's so freaking cute. Cottage living. Look, look at all, look at this black and white one. I would, I, I'm not even joking. I would die for this rabbit. This rabbit right here, this one, I would die for him. I would die. Just die. Complete, I'm dead. Currently dead. You're watching a corpse right now. Not corpse, because I am not the corpse. I don't know what just happened. Something just fell over there. Scared the heck out of me. Okay, so swimming in like this little, a little cute little rabbit butt. Swimming in this little pond thing. Listen, Peter, you're cute, but okay. So we're, we can swim in this pond tree. I love the willows. The willows are everything. This is cool. It's like a little, like, river, pond. It's not really a pond. Like, maybe a lake. It's kind of too small to be a lake. I live in Minnesota, land of 10,000. So I feel like I have a good judge of character of lakes. But regardless, here for it. The water looks very clean. Except for right here, it's kind of green. But we won't talk about that. That's Timon outside of the door if you hear him. Oh my god, Agnes Crumplebottom is back. She is back, and she not only is back, but watch this. Yeah. Iconic. Iconic. Timon's even hearing it. Iconic. She's hit, she'll hit you with your bag in this too. Okay. Okay, if this isn't Stardew Valley vibes, I don't know what is. You start with this cute little little broken down place and then it turns into this come on look at the llamas we finally get llamas in the sims finally get llamas in the sims look at all of this like oh my god you guys oh, look ducks there's ducks oh my god there is ducks and swans i believe that swans could be geese but i don't know oh my god oh Oh my god. Like, are you kidding me? Are you, like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, this is, this is amazing. Oh my god, look at this rabbit. Remember I said I'd die for the other one? I would die three times for this one. Like, without a doubt. Like, how cute is this llama? He is not taken being groomed. This rooster in a top hat living his best life. Needlepoint. If you're into needlepointing, can't say I've ever done it, but I appreciate it. I love the concept. The little fox here. Let's see, maybe uh, go to the end here and I can click the uh, this part. Let's click. Oh, let's pre-order now. Where's the, um, is this, yeah. Let's see what this says. This is the gnome on the go. You can get, if you, if you pre-order it by September... Or no, if you buy it by September 2nd, you get all this stuff. Timon wanted to join in. He's very excited about barnyard animals and cows and all of that. Okay, so what do you think, Timon? We can raise or befriend animals. Cows provide fresh flavored milk while chickens lay eggs in the coop. In the forest, look out for wild rabbits, foxes, and birds. Earn their trust for occasional gifts to help in the garden. So wait, and cats and dogs... I'm out of breath. I'm sorry. I'm very excited. <laughs> in Cats and Dogs, we did get foxes. So, I mean, I'm assuming you would be able to get this pack without having foxes. Or cats and dogs, right? I don't know. Let's see. Live off the land. Lot challenges require fresh ingredients for each meal. I love that. Grow produce yourself and visit the village market. You're going to be able to vi visit a market or forage in the wild to get them. Enter any oversized crops to the Finchwick Fair competition. That's so cute. Embrace village life. Henford on Bagley is a cozy place where everyone knows everyone. Head down to the pub with your cross-stitching. I guess cross-stitching. It's not needlepoint. Cross-stitching and a picnic basket, and meet locals and learn about the town's store, a town's lore. It looks so cute. 
This is amazing. This is so amazing. Do we figure out more? Oh, here we go. Here we go. More information. Let's see. Let's see. July 22nd. It's a quiet village. I'm going to keep reading this out to you guys. There's way more to this provincial life than you might, might expect. That's a Beauty and the Beast reference. It's a small town, but the Sims who live here have plenty to flap their lips about. I don't think I like that reference, but okay. Hen have a Henford heart-to-heart -heart with the pub owners at the Gnome's Arms. Or Sim running, or the Sim running the grocery stall for some wild stories and gossips. If you're feeling brave, you might even approach the Crumple Bottoms garden booth for some advice. Just remember, Agatha's the friendly one, Agnes is the grumpy one. <laughs> but they both love crumpets. Sometimes the locals just need a bit of help too, if you're up for it. Running a few errands for them might yield some interesting presents. Every week, the Finchwick fa Fair blows through the village, attracting all sorts of sims. The mayor judges the ro rotating competition entries from pies to vegetables to chickens, and the rest of the villagers love to join in. That is so cute. I love this. Do have a cow. Yes, that's right. Cows, llamas, chickens, bunnies, and foxes all live alongside sims in this idyllic new world. Befriend wild rabbits, foxes, and birds for gifts and help in your garden. Or focus your love and attention on the friends in the animal sheds and chicken coops at home, or both. The more animals, the better. Sims with the animal enthusiast trait especially love taking care of critters. Your relationship with each animal impacts how they respond to you. Uh, the treats can help you gain their favor. Different animal treats and moods even produce different results. Change the flavor of your cow's milk and the color of your llama's wool or even the appearance of your chickens with specific goodies. You'll need to find some choco berries out in the wild or add them to your grocery delivery in order to get some chocolate milk. That's so cute. Plant some roots and some vegetables, obviously. Thanks to the new gardening patches, folks are overexcited for oversized crops. Fill plots with giant watermelons, aubergines, pumpkins, and mushrooms, and lettuce to really wow the neighbors. Get the kids out there with you and teach them how to care for those huge plants too? Wait a minute, could kids always do that? Can kids do gardening? Is that new? When they're fully grown, the veggies, not the kids, enter them into the Finchwick Fair, Finchwick Fair uh, and collect a good harvest for healthy meals. The Simple Living Lot challenges you to make, challenge makes, oh my god, I can't read. The Simple Living Lot challenge makes cooking cheaper, but it also means recipes depend entirely on what you've got in your inventory. Forage in the nearby woods for mushrooms and berries, borrow some milk and eggs from the animals, and keep your garden full. Missing something? Place an order with the local grocery shop and get all your ingredients delivered right to your doorstep. Don't forget to tip the delivery person. Person. Speaking of cooking, bring the whole family together in the kitchen and make a Yorkshire pudding, beef wellington, or any other delicious dishes on the menu. It really does make the kitchen the heart of home. Heart of the home. That's so cute. If this is all music to your ears, that's great news. It's even better if you purchase the pack by September 2nd. You also get a bonus gnome on the go digital content seen above. Ride around the town on a scenic commuting bicycle. Very uh, murder, she wrote. If anybody has uh, ever watched that show, if you haven't, like, oh, sorry, that's Timon's tail. He's on my lap still. If you haven't seen that show, what rock are you sleeping under? And let me help you figure it out. I can get you out from under it. Um, but that's very murder, she wrote. This is all kind of reminding me of murder, she wrote a little bit because she lives in like a cute little town like this. But she, I think she lives more in somewhere in the. Uh, United States. I don't think she lives in some place that's like in like Europe or something like that. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> uh, ride around town on the scenic commuting bicycle. Decorate your garden with the onward, the adventurous gnome sculpture and brighten your yard with bramble, bramble woods, delightful tree. Love that tree. It has a door, very uh, toll house, Nestle toll house. That's where the elves live, right? <laughs> I don't remember. Pre-order the, the expansion pack now to start playing immediately when it launches on July 22nd at 10 a.m. Don't hit the hay just yet either. Summer of Sims has a few more rabbits to pull up its hat before the co cottage living arrives. They're going to have more things in store for us. Okay. So that's very exciting. Like, you guys, I probably freaked out and was a little bit overdramatic, 
but that's okay. I'm freaking excited. You bet I'm going to be pre-ordering it. I, a lot of times I'll wait until like the pack goes on sale because honestly, never buy any of your packs full, full price if you can help it because generally they're always going to go on sale, but I don't think I can hold myself back on this one. It looks so cute. I love the bunnies. I love the cows. I love the llamas. Emperor Cusco is going to make my dreams come true. Don't worry. The first llama we get, his name is going to be Emperor Cusco. It just has to be. It has to be. Literally. Like, what are you doing if it's not? You're being very sweet. <laughs> you guys can't see him, but he's being very sweet in my arms right now. Anyway, what did you guys think of the pack? I'd love to know your comments, how you feel about it in the comments down below. I know some people might be a little bit uh, bummed that there's not horses in this pack. Um, as It's a little bit of a bummer considering it's an expansion pack and maybe we should have gotten horses in this one. But, I mean, for what it's worth, I'm very excited. I always try to not get my hopes set too high. So that way, if it doesn't go the way that I want it to, I'm not disappointed. So I'm not disappointed. Let's put it that way. So yeah, what did you think, Timon? Ugh. What'd you think? He's camera shy. You're camera shy. You get some hair on you, because I was petting you. <laughs> All right, guys. If you like this video, Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this new expansion pack. I am super excited for it. Timon's super excited for it. And um, be sure that you subscribe and hit those post notifications so that you always know when I post a brand new video. And uh, without further ado, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!